We're all in danger. I thought you were my friends. Why don't you believe me? I'm sorry. Today's not a good day for a movie night out. I... I think I'll pass. Enjoy, you guys. Isabella, wait! Really, guys? She walked out on us, Zachary. Ugh, can you believe her? Yes, I saw. But that ain't the point here. You could have at least humored her, toned down on the teasing for a bit. that if this is her idea of a joke i failed to see what's so funny about it she went overboard zachary and then she goes home all upset like we're the ones at fault here cut her some slack please we're all aware how she felt about the mansion in the first place yeah <laughs> you don't really believe what's written on that paper do you no but come on ash you're the detective here you must have noticed something we didn't Hey, Zach, keyword, detective. Police? Dealing with supernatural shit isn't in our training manual, if that's what you're trying to get at. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't. All I'm trying to say is, we all have our bad days. Give her the benefit of the doubt, okay? She was behaving like a child, Zachary. Ain't we all? Look, let's just hear her out next time, I right? Talk about it properly, preferably without anyone blowing a fuse. She won't be making a big deal out of this if she's in a better mood in the first place. Something else must have ticked her off at work. Just snowballed from there. Probably not something. Someone, though. Oh, so you did do something. Mm, what? No! Why does it have to be me? You tell me. You used to be so friendly with each other. Now, every time you're in the same room, all you two seem to do is ruffle each other's feathers. What exactly happened, Ash? Nothing. All right, and you're a much better cook than sis. <laughs> I didn't do anything, really. You might be right, though. Something must have happened during the open house. There was a crowd, you know. It could have easily been one of their guests. <clears throat> uh, anyway, we should stop wasting time here. What's done is done. Let's just head inside. The movie's going to start soon.
What's with him? I was just pulling his leg. I'm sure it's just as he says. He would have said something by now if there's anything we should be concerned about. You know how he operates. Dina Malak's know exactly how. Don't hold it against him. Easy for you to say. He never does that to you guys. He knows his boundaries. And Belle would have probably hit him with that metal rolling pin she keeps, if he so much as thinks about it. Actually, <laughs> I'm more surprised she hasn't done so yet. Rebecca, about Bella earlier, could you... Don't worry about her. Just enjoy your own movie for now. I'll check on her when I get home. Maybe I could even get the real story out of her. Oh, that'd be great. Thanks. Man, I was really hoping to watch this with all of you. We'll get another chance. It's not like we won't be seeing each other soon. We're living in the same city, for heaven's sake. <laughs> Touché. Anyway, you should head into... Who knows what trouble Ash has gotten in there without us. Somebody should keep him in line. He's a grown man. He can take care of himself for a few minutes. What about you? Getting us some snacks. My treat, yeah? We've still got a few minutes to spare before they start. I'll catch up with you both soon. All right, but don't take too long. Just bottled water for me, if you're planning to get some drinks, too. Right, gotcha. Surely this can't be all there is from that crowd outside.
Okay, listen. I personally know the guy. He might be able to help. I can easily get in touch with him if you want, so... I thought we all agree there'd be no work calls tonight. Pay up, Ash. That pizza fund box needs some cash. Sorry, just a sec, Becca. Hey, I, uh... I gotta go? If you get this message, just... Just let me know, okay? I'll free up my sketch if you want to check with him. No fees attached. I promise. Bye. Fees? You're not doing anything illegal, are you? You know me better than that. Inspector Abigail? Yeah. <laughs> no! <laughs> I am not losing that bet. Don't count on it. Oh, come on, Ash. It's not like it's going to put a dent in your paycheck. Which one is it? Officer Carl? Officer Benjamin, the chief? None of the above. And chief hates it when I call him. Give it up. What? Mobile. And why? Evidence, what else? You always preach they don't lie. Put your money where your mouth is. Show. It's not work, I swear by my badge. Oh, just admit you didn't want to pay. You're a worse cheapskate than Belle. Becca, look at me. Tell me, does this face seem like it's lying to you? <laughs> Maybe. Here's an idea then. Why don't you find a mirror and answer that yourself? <laughs> Pass, I've seen it plenty. It still looks the same. Honestly, it's getting boring. All right, suit yourself. Just remember. I'm not the one who got caught breaking a deal we all made. Really, Rebecca, it's not what you're thinking. A friend just needed help with the problem. It's nothing big enough that I'll run off on you two. Don't worry. Where's the big guy, by the way? He can't be missing from his own premiere. Food. Is there something you want? I could... No, nah, it's good. He'll know what to get. Frankly, I'm more worried about him. Do you think Zack's gonna be okay with this? I honestly don't know. I only have a small idea of how these things work. But... He put a lot of effort into this. Someone will certainly notice. <sighs> he did put a chunk of his savings on it. 
He was hoping to start a small studio when it takes off. If it takes off. You doubt him? No, just... Concerned, I guess. As far as I know, the whole fund was initially for the studio. Space, equipment, that kind of stuff. I have no idea what suddenly came over him. He already had enough to start one on his own. Why would he use it for something else? I'm sure it'll be fine. Zachary knows what he's doing. He had me check the scripts and the research he did before he went through with this. His uh, personal experience with the topic also counts. I think he's onto something here. What about you? Hmm? What about me? Don't play coy. We haven't heard anything decent from you. Except for those memes you leave in the chat box every morning. Hey, they're funny. <laughs> to you, maybe. Belle hates them. No, she doesn't. I know she likes them well enough. Believe what you will, but that's beside the point. You've been quiet since your promotion last year, even more so after you got assigned to your current case.
You know I can't talk in detail about that. Well then, talk about something else. It doesn't have to be any of those things. It could be anything under the sun. It's not so hard. Rebecca, out of everyone else, you know how this whole thing works. I can't just... We do worry, you know? Zachary worries. Isabella worries. The chief... The chief found a new attempt to pull a prank on the other week. Is that even allowed? Using the police car? No. And that doesn't bother anyone? At all? Uh, maybe a few. But he's the chief. Chances are he'll probably get swept under the rug. It doesn't really matter. Everyone knows he's harmless when he's like that. Probably just procrastinating on his paperwork. Eventually he'll also get tired of the new temp. I'll give it a week or so and... Oh yeah, speaking of the new temp, Inspector Carl. Rebecca? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Were you even listening? I, uh, just got distracted. Uh, the weeks before exams are always the busiest. You look a bit red in the face, though. You okay? Isabella mentioned you've been sick. I I'm fine, <laughs> really. Don't listen to her. <laughs> sure? I'm sure, Ash. I was already feeling well enough this morning. Do you think I'll be able to work if I wasn't? <laughs> She's just making a bigger deal out of something that's...
You don't seem to have any fever, but we can ask Zack if you're not feeling well. Don't! <sighs> Belle already left. We can't bail out on Zachary now. If another one of us leaves, how do you think he'll feel about that? I could stay with him? Don't be ridiculous! It's not going to be the same thing! Besides, I'm really okay now, so leaving is out of the question. Who's leaving? Becca. We were just talking about his co-worker. Oh. So anybody I know in particular? Retiring or something? Not really. It was just a few people being transferred lately. Usual bureaucracy, huh? You could say that. Chief just annoyed at the paperwork. Zachary, why don't you sit down first? Before you two start talking about workplace politics of all bloody things. I'd hate to get caught in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it, it, it was fun, despite, you know, but really, thanks for staying, you two. Don't mention it. It's the least we can do. Nah, I owe you both. Especially you. You sure you don't want payment for all that history checking you did? Quite sure. Oh, you know what? On second thought, just save it for when you win an award. Treat us someplace nice or something. <laughs> I doubt it'll go that far. Oh, please. Think positive for once. I, I, I hear you, ma'am. I hear you. Then put some back into it. It's really too early to say, but... Here's hoping, I guess. We'll see. Anyhow, I'm off. Got some new photography gig lined up in the next few days. But just call me anytime you guys want to hang out. Sketch should be easy to free up for some R&R &R now. How about you, Ash? You coming with?
Oh, yeah. I need to double check something with the guys at the precinct. Same way then. You gonna be fine on your own, Rebecca? My car's parked just a block away from here. It should be an easy walk. But both of you should get going if you're in a hurry. Right. Drop us a message when you get home. And that thing with Isabella, too, when you get a chance to see her. See ya. Yeah, I will. Be careful, you two. Bye. Just don't understand her sometimes. It makes you wonder why we're friends, but here we are. Bill, hey! I'm just checking on you. I'm on my way home. Is... is there something you want me to pick up for you? You probably skipped dinner, didn't you? Don't worry, that diner a block away is still open. Want me to buy you anything from there? Isabella? joke? Isabella, if you think this is funny...
long rest after this. know you're in there. I'm on my way home. If you need anything, send me a message ASAP. I'll see if I can still get it for you. You've got 15 minutes. And, uh, if there's something, something you want to talk about, let me know, okay? Uh, bye! Isabella, I don't have time for this! Open up!
You're still not going to believe me. Even if someone else already died, no? It's a piece of paper, Isabella! What can a piece of paper do? Give you a paper cut? I swear, you can be so... so... frustrating at times! when they're throwing a tantrum. You're not a kid anymore! You were at the mansion? What about it? Oh, just wondering, I guess. It simply didn't cross my mind you'd be there, is all. I happened to pass by. Well, that's... different. Your cases rarely ever take you out of Luxborn, don't they? What changed this time? What makes you think a case is the reason why I was out there? Maybe it's because you don't usually go out of town much? 
I could count on one hand the number of times you did in the past five years, you know. Anselm's hardly out of town. It's a 30-minute drive, Becca. True, but I know you. You most certainly aren't there for a stroll or the view. Did it even occur to you I might be checking the open house? You hate gatherings like that. I like them well enough when I have to. <sighs> Don't kid yourself. Why would you even need a mansion that big? You barely stay in your own flat. Surely needs a fancy garage? <laughs> Will you quit the sass? And I doubt Belle even invited your ass over there. You're the last person she'd ever want to see while hosting an open house. You do annoy her sometimes. Rebecca, oh, Christ, why do I always have to spell everything out? I already said it. I just happened to pass by. It was after I finished some work. No one invited anyone. Isabella has got nothing to do with it. I invited myself. End of story. So there is a case. You don't have to keep those things from me. Just say you have one. I'm not asking you to explain anything. Why do you even want to know if there is one in the first place? And even if there is, you know the details are always off limits. I don't. I couldn't care less if it's a case or not, but I could stand to be answered properly instead of being given vague, mindless answers. It's a simple yes or no question, Ash, for goodness sake! You've known longer than anyone how I work, Rebecca. This shouldn't be surprising to you. Ashton, in case you didn't notice, people do worry about you. Every time you're out who knows where playing your little detective game. Is that such a hard concept to grasp? Well, maybe you should have said so in the first place instead of... <sighs> Damn it. Just drop this, Rebecca. This isn't going anywhere. What the bloody hell is your problem? You've been in this stupid, wretched mood since earlier. At least try to hold an actual conversation if you can't be bothered to tell why you're in such a black mood. I could say the same thing about you. Can we just move on to something else, please? I've heard enough arguments to fill my quota for the day. If we keep at it, this is going to end up worse than the one we had with Isabella. It wasn't really because of a case, was it? You were there for something else. How did you even get to that? Didn't we already establish why I was there? Why are we going back to this again? You could have just said so. It's not like it would make a difference. In the end, she's not even here. 
<laughs> Wait, what the hell are you going on about this time? Sorry, Ash, they ran out of... Uh... Am I interrupting something? No harm done. We were just talking. Really? Just talking? This ain't a good time, we can postpone this. Just take the damn seat, Zack. Okay. Clue me in if someone's about to lose it. Just so, you know, I can get out before anything happens. Well, <laughs> it, it, it was fun, despite, you know, <laughs> but really, thanks for staying, you two. Don't mention it. It's the least we can do. Nah, I owe you both. Especially you. You sure you don't want payment for all that history checking you did? Quite sure. Oh, you know what? On second thought, just save it for when you win an award. Treat us someplace nice or something. <laughs> I doubt it'll go that far. Oh, please. Think positive for once. I, I, I hear you, ma'am. I hear you. Then put some back into it. It's really too early to say, but... Here's hoping, I guess. We'll see. Anyhow, I'm off. Got some new photography gig lined up in the next few days. But just call me anytime you guys want to hang out. Sketch should be easy to free up for some R&R &R now. How about you, Ash? You coming with? Oh, yeah. I need to double-check something with the guys at the precinct. Same way, then. You gonna be fine on your own, Rebecca? My car's parked just a block away from here. It should be an easy walk. But both of you should get going if you're in a hurry. Right. Drop us a message when you get home. And that thing with Isabella, too, when you get a chance to see her. See ya! Yeah, I will. Be careful, you two. Bye!
just don't understand her sometimes. It makes you wonder why we're friends, but here we are. Just checking on you. I'm on my way home. Is... is there something you want me to pick up for you? You probably skipped dinner, didn't you? Don't worry, that diner a block away is still open. Want me to buy you anything from there? Isabella? joke? Isabella, if you think this is funny...
a long rest after this. I know you're in there. I'm on my way home. If you need anything, send me a message ASAP. I'll see if I can still get it for you. You've got 15 minutes. And, uh, if there's something, something you want to talk about, let me know, okay? Uh, bye! You're still not going to believe me, even if someone else already died, no? It's a piece of paper, Isabella! What can a piece of paper do? Give you a paper cut? I swear, you can be so, so frustrating at times! Nice. 
students when they're throwing a tantrum. You're not a kid anymore! Isabella, I'm coming in and we are going to talk! Like when she's moping. <laughs> We need to talk about this letter nonsense. Isabella, I know you're busy. I'll let you go back to your work once we sort this out. You can't... You can't keep going on like this. Why must you always be so difficult? I'm telling you to listen to me! Oh, will you face me? I'm talking to you, Isabella! Isabella? Belle? Belle? Answer me! Please! You should see her. Female, around 20 to 25 years old. Time of death must be less than five or six hours ago. Cause, still unknown.
Crime scene? Second floor, sir. Just upstairs. Second room after the stairs. Hold on a sec. Did you say second room after the stairs? Exactly what I said, sir. CSM should be there to brief you further on the scene. But, um, if I may, Inspector, you really don't want to see the body right now. Inspector Abigail had to excuse herself for a while after... after, you know. I'll be the judge of that. Thanks. Yeah, this is 